Let's take a look. So we have Cathedrals and Catholics, which appears to be a D&D based episode. No Day to Dine, Broccoli Wars, The Cross Country Quest, Despite Its Power It Cannot Save, and Something Original. So let's start with Season 8, Episode 1. Let's begin. We'll go for a couple episodes, and then we'll, we'll continue on another Friday. Let's do it. Something Original. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. This is a 14-minute episode, which means one of two things. It's either going to be the worst episode ever or the best episode ever. Uh, traditionally, the long episodes of, of uh, Holy Mac are either unbearable or hilarious. Let's find out which. Yeah, Charlie, can I write an episode of Holy Mackerel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Uh, what were you thinking of writing about? Um, I don't really know yet, but I was told Holy Mackerel was trying out different hobbies and one of them was script writing, so I was going to sort of bounce some ideas off of him and see what he thought. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. So that's a weird thing about this universe. In this universe, Holy Mackerel is both a character and a person. So when they make an episode of Holy Mackerel, Holy Mackerel acts in the episodes, but he's also playing himself. It's a very strange thing. Hey, holy mackerel, Charlie just gave me the go-ahead. We've got the green light. Okay, get this. You, the holy mackerel, go on a long, long journey. You join a ragtag group of underwater sea creatures. You go on this journey to cast the one onion ring, the one onion ring, into the depths of an underwater volcanic seamount. Great, super. I'm gonna get running it right now, holy. I was just going down the street to the deli and this half fish, half man knocked my sandwich right out of my hands. Oh no, Barry, that's not a fish guy. It's the holy mackerel. I think that was a Seinfeld reference. I think that was a Seinfeld reference. Quite I think frankly, was... the people at Church Militant, terrific people, great guys, great people, Michael Voris, Terrific guy, terrific guy, but quite frankly, Holy Mackerel's above, above them all. He's a cut above all of them, quite frankly, quite terrific people. I love Holy, great guy, terrific guy, great work ethic, terrific guy, great branding. Oh yeah, they uh, love you know, Trump, I forgot about that. He's a good that. guy, terrific people over there at Church Militant. Hey, Churchill. What'd you do during last summer again? I told you I spent it working with my cousin helping Holy Mackerel and forcing Canon 1251. Did you stop any? Yes, like 50 of them. They kept trying to eat meat on a Friday. What would you do in a situation like that? What kind of technique did you use? The way of the mackerel, what do you think? Th that was Napoleon Dynamite, just so you all know. Way of the mackerel! Yeah, I know. Napoleon Dynamite. Fucking dated. I want these two vortexes on the site by the end of business today. But I was going to go to the Vega market to get some energy drinks. You can have your sugary drinks after you've done your editing. I don't know that one. I, I don't know that one.
What's a Vega Mart? Hey, Shane. Wait, is a Vega Mart a thing? Hold on, what's that? Is that a thing? Is that from a TV show or something? It's from Star Wars? Oh, I was going to Toshi Station. Oh, I get it. Okay. Already converting bad. those graphics. We are way behind on evening news. Uh, oh, it's JP. Yeah, I'll get those done in a second here. Um, but I've been working on this holy macro script. Could I get your opinions? Run some stuff by you. Oh, sure. Uh, what you got? Okay. Well, I was thinking of putting in some cutaway gags. You know, to sort of add some humor to the episode. Uh, no. Uh, Shane, cutaways are just lazy writing that are used to fill for time, and they usually have nothing to do with the main story. Hey! I've seen this coming. Hey! What are you doing out here, Fried? What are you doing? It's Friday. No me. No. No. What are you doing out here, Fried? It's Friday. No meat. No meat, Fried. No meat, Fried. Just a chicken. Plus, we're going to have to come in on a Saturday to shoot it, and I what? really don't want to do that. Yeah, okay, that's... That's a pretty good point. Um, what about this? There's this one scene I'm writing. Um, can I show it to you here? I'll yeah. be me, and uh, you'll be holy. Okay. So my character says to you. That's an I am legend reference? Oh. You. That food has been grilled. Food has been grilled. It's called Shane. See, I cooked all the meat, so naturally I get the fats that melt underneath it. But there's no charcoal there. This is a movie scene. Do you understand? Do you understand, Holy? That's more to the point. Do you understand? I drink your water. I drink it up. Every day, I drink the lemonade from Minute Maid. Oh no. Come sit down again. Okay, Shane, seriously, this is just a scene from There Will Be Blood. I mean, do you not realize that you're taking an entire movie scene and pretending it's yours? I don't think so. I've never heard of that. You got anything else? Yeah, um, so this scene is with Holy Cow, and he's on the phone, but the audience doesn't know it yet. Oh yeah, they brought back Holy Cow. The scene kind of goes like this. I don't know who you are, but I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ingredients, I can tell you I don't have honey. But what I do have are a very particular set of grills. Grills I have acquired over a very long career. Grills that make me a nightmare for chefs like you. If you let my recipe book go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will grill you. Taken, 2008. There Will Be Blood, 2007. Napoleon Dynamite, 2004. Uh, Lord of the Rings, early 2000s? Two thousand one. So all of these references are just dated two thousands movies. Literally, specifically, the aughts from two thousand to two thousand ten. All of them. And then holy cow goes, pot luck. <laughs> And then you hear like a phone breaking in the background because uh, he doesn't want to get caught, you know? That's taken. Oh, I am legend. That's right. By who? Pierre Morel. 
the director 2007. of Taken. 2007, by the way. Taken. It's kind of a dumb title. Uninspired, if you ask me. Oh, boy. Well, I do have one other idea. Um, it'd be the climax of the episode. So my character, right, would say, This is St. Mike's! And then he fights a bunch of, like, sandwich wielding bad guys but he does it all in slow motion mm -hmm. okay so i'm not sure if you're referencing 300 the holy mackerel episode where we referenced 2006 or if you're just making fun of me at this point if you're just going to shoot down my ideas maybe you should be able to take a little bit of criticism yourself what do you mean uh, last season you referenced One Punch Man, Rocky Balboa. You that also is totally different. We were telling a story that shared themes with those other stories. Like a shot for shot remake of a Simpsons meme? Steam Sam's? Okay. Really? Okay, you know what? I am just trying to help here. You know, give some constructive criticism. You don't have to shoot down all my ideas. You know what? Thanks anyway, but I don't need your help. Oh my god, I forgot about the steamed Sams! Oh, it was so bad! Holy mackerel understands my ideas. Thanks anyway. Fine by me. Everyone loves steamed Sams. Oh no, they're, they're falling out. How, How could, could he, he think, think my ideas, ideas are, are bad? Yeah, this is my it's script. script. It's not that sh That's Dire Dire Docs. That's a remix. A remix of Dire Dire Docs. Dane's ideas, ideas are, are bad. bad. I just, just think he needs some original, original writing, writing to balance out the memes. Everyone, Everyone loves, loves my impression. They, they say imitation, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. flattery. There, was there was so, so much storytelling story last season. season. We even added a new character to the HMCU. Well, sometimes shows change things up to keep it fresh and interesting. Maybe I should do something that hasn't really been done before. That's it! You heard it! The riff! I'm sorry! That is literally a Dire Dire Docs remix! This- it's been- it's been pitch shifted! Listen! Fresh and interesting. Maybe I should do something that hasn't really been done before. Sure, we started with the One Punch Man homage, and then I became Holy Mackerel's disciple. And then there was the- Rocky I training fuck montage, and we finished the season with a 300 slow-mo action sequence. Yeah, I guess original writing just isn't my strong suit. I should probably be more open to suggestions and criticisms. Oh no, he's right. Damn. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, hey, Shane. I was just, uh, come to see how the script writing was going. Uh, yeah, you know, JP, um, not so great. Uh, I think you were right. I was relying too heavily on references and impressions, and I really shouldn't have shot down your advice so quickly, so uh, I'm sorry. Well, thanks, but you know, I think you were right too. The last season, it had a lot more references than I uh, first realized, but you know, overall it was still a good season, so I don't think original writing is necessarily the key to good storytelling, so I'm sorry too. You know what? I don't think Charlie's ready for this yet. Besides, I know I can do way better. Which is why I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm gonna bury this. You know you could just delete it. No. This is something I gotta do. It's gotta be done. Well, uh... You gotta do what you gotta do, so, uh... Let me know if you need any help with that. So... Cool beans? Cool beans. Cool beans. 
I'm gonna die. Cool beans. I'm gonna die. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool cool beans. Bean. Cool beans. Cool cool beans. Bean. Cool beans. Cool cool beans. Bean. Cool cool. Cool cool beans. Cool cool beans. Bean. Cool cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Wait, what are we doing? Yeah, that was weird. And why are all these jokes from the mid to late aughts? Hmm. <laughs> Wrecked. Yeah, we probably should broaden our horizons just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Guys, where are we with evening news graphics? I mean, we're way oh, behind. Oh, gonna get um, yeah. Come on, we gotta put two steps into one, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, is, is this a new PTZ camera? He's like a little droid. Aww. We're gonna name him CM77. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're gonna do a Star Wars episode! Okay. Recording and... Action! Hello, I'm a weird... I am so here for it! I'm so here for season eight! They're, it's a back to the originals! They just, it's, it's beautiful! Everything I wanted about a comeback to the Holy Mac is here! Yes, was it cringe? It was. Was it self-aware? Painfully so. It was. Did they do a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the Cool Bean scene from Hot Rod? A movie that almost nobody saw, but everybody knows the Cool Beans from seen from yes they did and that is exactly what i want and that's why you all are getting an extra bonus tonight which is one more episode before i have to go do do life okay i am so here for this it really sounds like they're ready to make a truly worthy episode a, th a truly worthy season let's do it next episode <laughs> Remember how I told you it was either going to be the worst episode ever or one of the best episodes? I got to say, one of the best. It's heartwarming. There's a, there is a, there is homosexual tension. There's a, there's dated references. Incredible. Policy cases on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot Oh, shit's save. gonna get weird. What's up, Charlie? Hey, Alex. Uh, we uh, still working out at lunchtime at the Vortress? Yeah, why wouldn't we be? You know, yeah, I, I just... I was not expecting this guy to have a voice like that. Hi, Charlie. How's it going, Charlie? M making sure, confirming. Yeah, yeah, of course we are. I was also, I was going to ask Mac if he wanted to join us. Mac? Holy mackerel. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 that sounds good. Yeah, apparently he's trying out new hobbies, and I heard he was interested in bulking up, so I wanted to help him out with that. Sounds great. But uh, um, I was wondering, uh, what are we doing today? It's leg day. I'm just kidding. Nobody does leg day anymore. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing chest and arms, obviously. Obviously, duh. You almost had me there. Okay, well, see you at lunchtime. Sounds good. I'll right. see you then. See, they got you with the switcheroo. You thought they were going to do a skipping leg day joke, and then they it literally did a skipping leg day joke. Hey, Matt. Charlie and I are going to the Vortress basement at lunch to work out. You want to come with us? Yeah, you know, pump iron, bulk up, that type of stuff. They're going to Michael Voris's basement to work out Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh, you already have a trainer? Okay, no worries, it's no biggie. focused all day. Do you ever just get tired of where you are, Charlie? What do you mean? I like it here. We got a nice workout space. It's nice. I mean in life, man. Where you are in life. Um, what's going on? It's holy mackerel, man. I'm the whole reason he got inspired to work out and then he just goes and pays a bunch of money for some trainer. Like, what's the deal with that? Alex, we're here in the basement of the Vortress with all this new workout setup where any of us CM bros can blow off some steam, pump some iron, you know, reduce that stress from work. And uh, so my suggestion to you is you forget about Mac, you forget about his trainer, whoever that guy is, probably overcharging holy mackerel by a large margin. Yeah, well he's missing out on learning from the best. Well, speaking of that, maybe you can show me that form that you were talking about. Right, okay. We're gonna start with a moderate weight here. Why don't you just lay down on the bench? All right, where do I wanna put my hands? Yeah, so you're gonna put your hands here and here. All right, like that? Yeah, you wanna inhale as the bar is coming down, exhale as you're pushing out. All right, and you got me, right? Right, yeah, let's go. Let's right. get 10 reps out of this. Okay, <sighs> let's here we this. go. Here we go. I think I got it. I don't got it. Ah. That horse guy doesn't even have good form. I mean, what use is all that brute strength if you can't even use it efficiently? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I see the lack of technique, I guess. I could outlift him on technique alone. Well, arm wrestle him. What? Arm wrestle him. You know, like two guys just having a friendly little competition of arm wrestling. What could go wrong? Plus, isn't it more about like the form and technique than anything else? Nah, that's, that's not a good idea. Hey, let me tell you something. This guy, this guy right here, he's the strongest guy that I know. And he could beat anyone in an arm wrestle. Nah, nah. Alex, Alex, I am your boss. And as your boss, 
I order you to arm wrestle me. <laughs> oh my God, we're getting boss employer relations commentary. Oh! All right, if you insist. Okay, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> what I tell you? Now go. Challenge that guy. Challenge Strong Horse. All right. Strong Horse, I challenge you to an arm wrestle match. What, you got nothing to say to that? Sorry to break it to you guys, but lunch is over. We gotta get back to work. Looks like you're saved by the bell. I'll see you after work. You're so torn, you can't decide whether to cringe, laugh, or root for the repressed queerness? Root for the queerness, always. I want all of these people to find themselves free, to be as gay as they want to be. We've already shipped them. There is, our community is the only community where gay fan art of the characters of this show exist. Oh, you already have a trainer. Okay, no worries. How did I find this? Well... A long time ago, a viewer by the name of Snips, who used to be here, I haven't seen Snips in a long time, but a long time ago, Snips told me about the, fa the church militant. And by pure chance, I happened to come across this cartoon after looking into other stuff by the church militant. And to date, this has been one of my favorite discoveries ever. And now, that's right, all of you, all 200 of you, Now know as well. Welcome. Welcome. Just welcome. You stick with me, you get to see crazy shit like this. See? This is what the, this is what true imps get. You stick around, you watch the stream, you hang out, you get the cool shit. Oh yes, we also have a donation image. Like, we literally have a do- Hold on, I can show you this. We have it in- I have it in here. Hold on, let me bring it up. One second. It's right- It's- Uh, hold on, where is it here? Wait, that's- Oh, wait, this is one of them. This was the one from Max. Hold on, look! 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 This is one of them. This is not Mixed Dizzy's. This is Max- This is, uh, Max Sips's. And this is Dizzy's one. So we have this one, which is the gay art. And then we have the amazing- absolutely incredible donation art of the Holy Mac and the blushing loan shark. Amazing. I have this saved as well on my computer, but better see this one. Look at this. You all know. Look at this. Dizzy fucking made this fucking sick ass shit. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> The Holy Mac fandom is dying. Retweet gay art of Holy Mac in order to uh, bring the Holy Mac fandom back to life. <laughs> He's scared. He's worried that the horse is going to beat his ass. Alex? It's time. It's All fucking right. time, bro. Let's do this. All right, gentlemen and uh, horse people. Um, you know the rules. Arm wrestling on go. Three, 
two, one, go. What are you so upset about? You look like you just lost a bet. That's because I did lose a bet. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. This is really not cool, but I bet against you. Wait, what? Yeah. You see, I bet that you would lose within like one second, and holy mackerel thought that Strong Horse wouldn't beat you for at least five seconds. <sighs> now I'm gonna have to pony up. Well, Charlie, a vain hope for safety is the horse. Everybody, give Punky Gal a hug. Punky Gal, get a, get, everybody shoot some hugs at Punky Gal. In a world where people are eating meat on Fridays of Lent, some wonder if there is anybody out there to save the people from themselves. Wonder no longer, for there is a team of surf and turf heroes, the Lenten Rangers. Holy Mackerel, the team leader. Lone Shark, the team treasurer. Holy Cow, the team, uh, cow. Strong Horse, the team muscle. And... The heart and soul of the team, fried chicken. Join them on their adventures to battle fasting defiance as they enforce. Surfin' Turfin' Lenten Rangers. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, yeah, uh, Charlie's gonna love it. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. Okay, ready? All right, listen. We can't do any more episodes because my head hurts and I need to go do things. However, I think I'm ready to say I am so here for the Sean and JP arc. Sean and JP might bring us the best season of Holy Mac ever. And you all are going to get to be here to see it because there's more episodes, which means... Every Friday, we'll have a new episode to react to! Which means we gotta catch up next stream. I'll have to, we'll have to watch the rest of Season 8. So far, Season 8's been sick. What do you guys think?